so sad I don't have that. Like I'm so sad I know I didn't have that because like I could have. And I think it makes you realize just how important life is and how short it is. It's my biggest regret. I'm not kidding you. Almost every single morning, Lucy stands right there and she's standing there for a reason. Can you guys take any guesses why she's standing there? Lucy, what do you want? What are you telling me? What? Do you want me to get Sophia? Is that what you want? Should we get Sophia upstairs? She's like, okay. Are you looking for Sophia? What is it? I want to see your sister. Should we get your sister out? Oh, hello, beautiful girl. <laughs> Good morning, Sophia. How are you, my beautiful babies? Okay, I got Sophia. And now, Miss Lucy is following me. She wanted to make sure I got her sister out of her cage. So this morning we are making German oven pancakes. It's a family favorite recipe. This is the cookbook my mom put together for all of us. And it's just like literally, just like she typed it all the recipes, our favorite recipes up and then put them in a book and gave it to all of us. Out of all of our kids, Reese is the one who enjoys cooking the very most. Always wanting to learn to do more. So you put the butter in the pan and you let it melt. And then after all that, you, this is the mixture. You mix up, you mix up your eggs and your milk. It literally takes five, 10 minutes to prepare it. Yeah, it literally takes five or 10 minutes to prepare. So and yeah, it's 15 minutes, to cook. 15 minutes to cook. And it's so and we'll easy show, and it's an we'll easy show clean. You how it rises. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm sure people have heard of it because they're German pancakes. I mean, some oh, you'll people. Know, you'll know what we're talking about as soon as you see it. Yeah, and some people have different it's names the one for that it. It starts to rise up out of the pan. Yeah, and it's like the coolest thing ever. Once it becomes sizzling, then you take it out. Or you said you'll take it out and we'll put the batter in. I Sound good? The wine so I look at it. That's it, guys. That's how easy it is. The butter is sizzled. They're really hot. So soup. Look out! Look out! Look out. Oh yeah! Do you hear it sizzling? Do you hear that? So half here. And then kind of. It'll it'll keep splashing you. So stay back. Ten to fifteen minutes. Just until it's, you'll see it grow and then it turns kind of golden brown. Mm. And Amazing. Really and it smells good too. Mm. I'm going upstairs to go serve the princess. Can we come in? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Catholic. Happy birthday to you. Good morning, princess. I thought you were in here getting ready for the day. Good morning, princess. Here, here, here's your breakfast. Come on, sit up, princess. Do you, do you want to? Do you know what it is? Can you see what we made you? You have to look. <laughs> Breakfast in bed for the oh princess. My oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's kind of cool. Well, enjoy your breakfast. Come down after you're done. Thank you. This, your... this is the way you really wake princesses up. Get up, get! Wake up! Wake up! Those of you who know Kesley know she loves jewelry. Mm -hmm. And there is this company um, called Tiny Red Ruby. Tiny Red Ruby, you guys. And she's on Instagram. So Gotta go follow her. Look, you guys, she makes her rings. I don't know if you can even tell. They are amazing. I don't know if my camera is going to give it justice, but look at this. It's hard to tell, like, on here with the... Maybe I'll have to have Kessie put them on because then you can see them a little better. Yeah. But she makes these by hand. It's literally like an art. And if you could feel these, they are, like, soft and oh my gosh. And they're so pretty because every one of them have a different look. And they are so beautiful. Like Kesley just had 
show her that one. This I thought this was so cool. I told oh, yeah, her this one's so pretty that I want one made that has all of my kids, so it's kind of like a flower. But I thought it'd be so cool to even do like maybe in the middle, like yeah. Logan Stone. Oh, that would be so. So it's kind of like a flower. So I want all my kids' stones on it, and then a flower in the middle. So I'm yes, gonna see if I can get that. But I. And Diane, you guys, she has the most amazing rings. Tell us a little bit about your company. Okay, your so I actually started this a few years ago and it took me a really long time to figure out how to do this, but I just grow the metal around the stone. It's amazing. So that it kind of wraps around and gives it that look. And I'm a really huge rock nerd. Like I have been <laughs> ever since I was little. I pick them up everywhere I go and I'm just, I, this so has given fun. me like a really great outlet for like my passion. I think every one of these rings are so gorgeous. So if you guys are looking for Christmas gift ideas or anything, you guys got to check out, remind me of the website again, tinyredruby.com. Tinyredruby.com. And you guys, she is offering my viewers 20% off. So you guys can get 20% off any one of these rings that are classic and they're different and there'll be like nobody else has. So make sure you guys click the link in our description and get one for like your mom or your sister. Cause Kesley's like, having a hard time. She's like, I'm gonna just get all of them. <laughs> Cause so she pretty. loves all the rings. They're so pretty. See Kesley, you could get like, yeah. that one's so cool. Yeah. So oh pretty. my gosh, they're, they're, so, so, they're so pretty. <laughs> I love it. You guys are seriously. It is so gorgeous. <laughs> I love the ring, yay. <laughs> She's got such pretty <laughs> hands, huh? Yeah. Kesley's got like good hands to be the hand model for all these gorgeous rings. Are you ever thinking of maybe doing necklaces or earrings oh, in the future? Yeah. Or do you I've have got, them? I've got a little line of necklaces. Okay. Coming out in a few weeks. That is so, so cool. Yeah. I love it. Okay, it sweet. So We're just sitting here having a dinner conversation. We need to go pick up right here in a little bit. But like Kesley showed me an edit that somebody made of Logan and her when he was little. It's from Show it's cute. We'll have, change, perfection. we'll have to change the music, but you guys need to hear this again. Perfection. It has a thumbnail of me and Logan, and it has a bunch of blue hearts. But um, that just made me cry. I watched it. <laughs> basically, it says it's like, oh, do you love your brother? And I go, mm-hmm. Like that's all you do. It's like, mm -hmm. I have that video. Yeah. If you guys want to watch that video, I think it's Logan's story or something. Yeah. It like made me do you, cry. <laughs> do you remember him at all, Kissa? You were the only one here. The only thing, like, it's just like the briefest memory, but like. The only memory I really remember is just I, I would always go into bed with um with him in the middle of the night. Like I would just kinda like go to bed and we would look at his like little like mobile I think mobile on, on the ceiling. Yeah, because it would reflect it his stars. mobile it would show the galaxy and stars yeah. on the ceiling. Yeah. But like I'm not sure if that's just memories I've had or No, you did that all the time. And mom and I would get up because we could hear you in there. With him. You'd climb in his crib with him. So that's not something that you thinking you made up. You actually like did it. And yeah, I don't think we filmed very much of it. So you must actually remember that. Yeah. There was times that we filmed it. The one thing I remember though, Jesse, is the last time you said bye to him at the hospital. Because you came up the day that he died. So you come say bye. And he was sedated. So he was on medicine. So he really couldn't wake up because he was on a lot of pain at that point. But we set you on his bed and you got up and you kind of straddled over the top of him and you looked down at him and you go, you go, hi Logan, like that. And his eyes just went boom, just opened up. It was the last time, it was the last time we ever saw him open his eyes. No, he never opened that's his like, eyes. That's Again. so cool. It was the last time and it was to see you for the last time. He loved you. He was like so he excited. had. I like would we could be like we we would him. when he was sedated like that. We were talking to him all the time, and he you know there was little reactions. Like he'd sometimes move a little, little bit. Move a little he never bit. opened his eyes. But he never he came, opened his eyes. It was one last time. And you're eyes. like, hi Logan, hi Logan, I love you. And right when you said that, he, his eyes popped so open. Sad. It was just for a second. It was like he really was wanting to see you one last time. It was and like then, he knew you that you were there. The sedation took over after that and kind of 
Yeah. It was a really hard time. Being through it, I feel like I can say this because I feel like I can just say it. Excuse the mess today, you guys. I didn't do my hair. I can tell Kessie was kind of getting teary eyed over there. Kind of crying. Yeah. <laughs> but being through it where I've lost a child, I truly feel like I look back on these memories and I wish so badly I would have recorded that. Like, not even necessarily for like YouTube or anything like that, but like I wish I would have had that. The time, and that's what I've told people who've, who are losing babies. I have, I've photographed tons of people who have lost or are losing babies. Um, I like go to the hospital and I take photos I for them. And I've done it ever since Logan passed away. It was something that I, I wanted to give back to other parents who I knew were going to lose their kids. And so, um, because those pictures are so special. See, what happened was, is right after, I had a photographer offer to come in the room and take photos of him, like, passing away. And I'm like, no, this is my moment. Like, why in the world would someone ask me that? That's weird. And I'm so mad that I didn't do it. Like, something still to this day that I'm so mad that I didn't have those pictures because to me, and so I've told people, I said, you don't have to. You don't have to have me come. I offer all the time to people who've lost children. And I always tell them how I feel after. I said, right now, you know, you don't want me there. And I even tell these people, I will be there. I will be as quiet as a mouse. I will stay. I know, to, I know my boundaries. I won't even talk to you. I'm just going to take photos. It's your time to just snuggle your baby and talk to your baby. Because I mean, I've done this. So I've done it several times. I've seen several babies pass away. And I've taken so many amazing pictures for people. And I'm so sad I don't have that. Like, I'm so sad I know I didn't have that. Cause like, I could have. It's my biggest regret. And even like my brother-in-law at Logan's funeral was walking around with the camera. And I remember thinking, oh, why is he filming? That's weird. I'm, I look at the photos now and I'm so glad I had them. But I remember what he said to me. He's like, you know what, Jenna? We are celebrating Logan's life and Yes, you're gonna look back on this and remember this day forever. And funerals aren't supposed to be, like it's not supposed to be like a sad thing. Like, yes, you're celebrating their life. Yes, you know they have passed on, but to know that they're somewhere where they're supposed to be and to know that, um, at least that's truly what I feel and believe, that he is somewhere better than here. To me, it's like, I don't know, I'm so glad that I had, I had like even just the photos. Um, but I do think oftentimes it would have been cool to have record or film his funeral. Like I would have loved to have seen and go back to my emotions that I felt that day. I would have, cause I mean, yes, like I remember how I felt, but like to like see it, like I know it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. They're like, what, why would you want to film that? But after going through it, it's like another regret I have. So I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, you just want to hold on every little piece that you can when someone passes on. Funerals are are sad because you have to say goodbye uh, from this life. Mm -hmm. you know, but it's it's a reward for them that they've been able to accomplish that mm -hmm. and get that. You know that that's something that we're all trying to strive for is to to return back to God. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a reward, but it's sad, temporarily sad for us because we have to say goodbye. But yeah, you know, just all the visuals that you have, the pictures and everything, it brings back all the memories again. Just oh, to see all of it, yeah. And that's kind of why I wish I would have. Like, don't you kind of wish we would have had all that footage and stuff? Like, just, In I mean, fact, just every, photos every, of him. Everybody that you've taken their pictures of their their children, they've always come back and said that they're the most cherished memory that they have. I know. Those pictures of those moments. I guess one of the hardest things is, um... Because my last photo of Logan was like professionally done was six days before he passed away. And it's weird because why would you want to remember your seeing your child so sick? But it's not even about that. It's not about him being sick and taking pictures of that to remember him being sick. It's just to bring you and put you back in that moment of that time that you knew that was the last time you were going to see them, the last time you were going to hold them, the last time you were going to smell them. I don't know, like just the coolest experience I had after he passed away and being able to give him a bath and even though he wasn't there, his body was and... We laid him on the bed, the hospital bed, and we gave him a kiss and we walked out the door because the morgue was coming. I didn't want to see it. Like I didn't want to see them pick him up and put him in a bag. You know, it's hard at the time, but I wish I had it now. <laughs>
Let's see this weather outside right now. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of kind of gross. It's kind of this is kind of the month. Like we were we we had Thanksgiving together, and then like six weeks later, he got really sick. I've noticed on these type of days, I'm super emotional. Mm -hmm. The weather plays a big part in that, I think, for sure. Because and every year this time fall starts, I automatically start thinking of Logan. Weather outside brings back memories. Like oh yeah. I remember how how it felt outside. I remember watching 12 days 12 dancing princesses Barbie with you inside the house I with a brand with with Logan who was just sick as a dog with oxygen tank and hearing the machine every night, you know? So I wish I would have filmed more. I wish I would have filmed so much more of his life, but I want to share with you guys because if there ever is something and you have the opportunity to have somebody take some pictures for you of your, I hate even saying it this way, but there are someone out, there is gonna be somebody out there watching this video that's gonna have something like this happen in the future. Where they're gonna lose somebody they love or lose a baby, lose a child. And you're gonna have, hopefully, if you don't have someone offer, find somebody to take some photos. You don't have to have video if you don't want to, but if you can do both, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Well, it was anyway, that was like the most spontaneous conversation because we just somehow started talking about Logan and it turned into this, but Maybe I don't know. Maybe up a little bit, but I, I just I hate crying in front of people. Well, and I think it makes you realize just how important life is and how short it is. I'm glad I feel like I can share this with you because it, to me, it helps me. It's still something I struggle with. I still cry about him. I still have really bad days. Okay, I'm gonna end our video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry, that was kind of a depressing end of the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Perry is going to end our video in a very special way. And she wants you guys all to guess what movie this is from. Take it, Perry. In case I don't see ya, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Bye.